Okay, this video is to try to help people understand how to torque their keel bolts. Um, I was communicating online and uh, asking a lot of questions myself, and then one of the people that was following the thread actually asked me to make a video, and I said, oh, I've already done it, I'm done, but you know what, I'll give back to the community. So I'm going to try and do a quick run through. Um, of all the tools I've got, I apologize. I am the sole cameraman and torquer right now, so it'll be a little bit jerky occasionally, but I'll try to go through it, keep you all with me. Um, so first off, this is a pretty conventional torque wrench. They're not terribly expensive. Um, a lot of people don't give them a lot of credit because they're not real high dollar. They're not real well calibrated, but um, I actually have a little digital torque wrench that I got on uh, Amazon cost about 50 or 60 bucks and I've actually cal checked and calibrated this torque wrench to it again may not be perfect but it's um it's pretty good so this one goes up to 250 pounds um and we'll be using that today uh, bear in mind I'm not hauled out currently so I'm not going to be getting the uh, full amount of torque uh, I'm just going to do enough to give a demonstration and here we go here's my single-handed operation stuff happening what we got here is uh, the first of the keel bolts. Um, there's the aft three. The other one is uh, actually a little forward there and may not be able to see it. Um, so these these keel bolts are actually, uh, that's a half inch bolt, that's a one inch bolt, and then that one is actually an inch and a half bolt. So working with pretty big torques. We got one down there underneath the pig. That one's pretty big. Uh, that one is, that one's actually inch and a half. That one's inch and a half. That's inch and a quarter, inch and a half, and one inch. For anybody that was keeping up, that's eight keel bolts in total. And I'm just going to do one of the easy ones, particularly this one that I can actually pry off of. So one of the tools that I'm going to need is an extension. And for all of these extremely high torques, um, we're going to be using the three-quarter inch drive. So I don't know if you can tell from the uh, from the video, but that's pretty big pretty hefty and for a one inch bolt I've got my one and a half inch socket these are all um, impact grade um, whatever that's worth we're not going to be using an impact wrench but you can actually see go with that right on there and then one of the other neat tools I have is what they call a torque multiplier let's see if we can get in here real close you guys might be able to read some of the words on there um, so it is a three to one torque multiplier it's got a half inch drive on the input on the on the top on this side and a three quarter inch drive on the back side it also has what they call a reaction bar so what we're going to be experiencing is uh, this is a planetary gear set and when I turn this part with my torque wrench it's going to try to turn the handle in the opposite direction and it's going to turn this in the forward direction so um, we're going to put that on our extension get that drove down on there and I actually chose this bolt because my reactionary forces are going to push here and you can actually see if you watch the drive see how it's working in the opposite direction of rotation and that's without turning the bolt at all so I got a little uh, board here that I'm going to use to uh, kind of cushion the blow that's going to be my other hand basically we'll keep that there and then we're going to take my torque wrench, and I've actually got the torque wrench, I'm not sure you guys will be able to see it, but I've got the torque wrench set to 55 foot-pounds right now. So we're not going ridiculous torque on this. The torque spec for these one-inch bolts is uh, 250 pounds, 255 pounds thereabouts. They are what I believe to be 316 stainless steel. And prior to actually doing the official torque, I removed them, cleaned them, and lubed them up uh, with uh, Tef Gel, marine-grade product that uh, really sticks and it prevents the galling that you sometimes get on stainless steel. So let's see if I can do this one-handed. What you're going to see here is I'm actually going to push this away. And I'd like to be able to use two hands and apply the appropriate counter torque. But the bar is actually pressing up against my countertop there. Now I'm starting to get some, some good, good compression. And uh, basically it's going to work like any other torque wrench pretty soon. There's your click. 
So now I have applied 55 times 3. You're looking at 165, roughly, foot-pounds torque to the socket down below. Now, um, it's easier to do this with two people, obviously, and it is also easier to put a um, like a three-foot pipe. I think it's a three-quarter inch pipe will fit on this real nicely. You can put a, a three-foot long or a four-foot long section of black iron pipe, and then you're not trying to fight this reaction bar quite as much. Um, obviously, everything else is just a, a variation of that. So... Um, for my one inch bolt, I was using torque spec of 255-ish foot-pounds. For my one and a quarter inch bolt, I was using 265. And for my one and a half inch bolts, I was using 600-ish foot-pounds. And obviously moving um, in, in increments up with this torque wrench um, so that I was not approaching those torques uh, all in one shot. And then what I would like to do is actually when I was when I'd reach my final torque, I would actually make sure that the torque felt nice and solid. I'd get one click, one there, let off, get another click there, and as long as it as long as all three landed in exactly the same spot, and I didn't feel like it was any there was any squish or movement every time I did it, that was that was good torque. It was good solid even numbers every time. Um, that's that's how I did it. Uh, guys, like I said, sorry for the camera work. Sorry I'm the, the sole operator right now. Um, but if you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll be happy to try and answer them for you. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.